Today I'll be showing you how to install Manjaro on a dual boot with Windows. This video is part of a larger series entitled A Guide to Switching to Linux Manjaro Edition. The purpose of this guide is to make it easy for a new Linux user to migrate from Windows to Linux, and specifically to Manjaro. So now before we get into this video, what is Manjaro? Well, Manjaro is a Linux distribution based on Arch Linux, and it's what's known as a rolling release, so it always has the latest and greatest software. Now, unlike vanilla Arch Linux, which is geared towards expert users, Manjaro is kind of a beginner-friendly version of Arch, and new software and updates go through a longer testing process, before they're released to users, which minimizes bugs. But anyway, without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is plug in your flash drive that you're gonna use to install Manjaro, if you haven't already, and then just quickly check to make sure that there's nothing on this drive that you need because it will be erased during the flashing process. But anyway, now what you're going to do is open up your web browser and then go to manjaro.org and then you're going to come up here to download and then you're going to choose x86-64 as your architecture and then you get your choice of desktop environment much like you would with Linux Mint. If you're going for that Windows look and feel that you're used to, Plasma and Cinnamon are good desktop environments to replicate that. If you want a more Mac-like experience, there's Budgie Desktop that I used for a while to get the Mac look and feel on my Ubuntu installation. But anyway, you're gonna go download one of these and then you're gonna download the image. Now, I've actually already downloaded this file. I've got it right here on my desktop. So now you're gonna go to etcher. .io. And by the way, all of the links are gonna be in the description and then you're gonna come here to download etcher, and then this will scroll you down to the download section. And I would just get the etcher for Windows x86-64 portable. Just click download on that, and then it'll start downloading etcher. Now, I've already downloaded this file. I've got it right here on my desktop. So once you've downloaded both these files, you're gonna run Etcher, and then you're gonna click flash from file once you're in Etcher, and then find your Manjaro ISO file, or alternatively, you could just drag it into Etcher, and then click select target, and then you're gonna select your drive that you're gonna use as your Manjaro installation media, which I would suggest be the only drive plugged into your system, just to avoid any confusion about what's the right drive and then click select one, then click flash. And then once user account control prompts you, you're gonna click yes, and then it'll start flashing your Manjaro ISO to your drive. Now this will take a while, so I'll speed this up. All right, once it says flash complete, you're gonna restart your computer. And then once it gets to the post screen, you're gonna press your boot menu key, which depending on your computer, will be escape, F2, F12, delete, F8. You can look that up with the model of your computer, slash motherboard, and then boot menu key. And I would start pressing it now. All right, now once you're in your boot menu, you're gonna come down to your Manjaro installation drive that you just made and then boot from it. And for new users, I'd recommend just booting with the proprietary drivers, especially if you're gonna be doing gaming because open source drivers can cause some issues with games. But this is where you can set your time zone. I am actually in America slash Toronto, so let's go at that time zone. And I'm gonna change my locale to English Canada. But anyway, I'm gonna boot with proprietary drivers. All right, so now once it boots into the Manjaro install media, you're gonna click launch installer. And by the way, I got the Plasma version. If you got some other desktop environment, yours will look different. 
but the installation process and everything should be the same. But anyway, once the Manjaro installer starts up, then you're gonna hit next, set your time zone and language, and then your keyboard layout. Now, once you get to partitions, if you're installing this on a dual boot, you're gonna click install alongside and then find your big giant MTFS partition, which for me is this big green partition, then click on it. And then by default, Manjaro will just split the space half and half, which is exactly what I want. You can drag this to suit your needs, but I'm just gonna do half and half. And now just type in your name and then your desired username along with your desired computer name, and then set a password. And then as long as you selected a strong password for your user account, you can use the same password for the administrator account. And don't log in automatically without asking for the password, unless you're installing this in a virtual machine or something. But anyway, now you can hit next. And now this will actually allow you to choose which office suite you want, including no office suite. The options are LibreOffice or FreeOffice. The main difference between the two is that LibreOffice is open source, whereas FreeOffice is not, but both are free of charge, even though one is called FreeOffice. I've been using LibreOffice since I switched to Linux four years ago, and it served me well, so I would recommend that for a new user. But if you don't like LibreOffice, then FreeOffice is another option. But anyway, then it'll give you a summary of the options you've chosen. If it all looks good, just click install and then install again. And then it'll go create a new partition for Manjaro and then install Manjaro. So now this will take a while, so I'll speed this up. All right, now that our installation is done, we can restart now check that off and then click done. All right, and at this point, you can take out your Manjaro installation media. And now, as you can see, we've got options to boot into either Manjaro or Windows. You can just select either one and it'll boot right up. And then it'll bring you to the login screen where you just punch in your password that you set earlier on installation. And then it'll bring you straight into your desktop. Now it says it has some updates to install I'll cover that in a later video, but then if you reboot, then you can boot into Windows. And then as you can see, you will get back into your Windows and everything will be right where you left it. And that's it for this video. Give it a like if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And stay tuned for my next video, which is gonna cover installing software. Now this time around, I'm not doing a uh, navigating the desktop video just because of the various desktop environment offerings.